Well, welcome to the Boxing Voice. I'm delighted to be here with Ivan Hopi Price. How are you, Ivan? I'm on for the year. Do you prefer Ivan or Hopi? Hopi. Hopi? Okay. Uh, you, you know, at the weekend there was a, another fighter, Steve Robinson, who also uses the nickname Drago, and he got upset. So, if your opponent comes out to the Rocky theme, be extra careful. Ah, that definitely will be happening to me. You know, um, I actually get called. I dropped the Drago a few fights ago. To be honest, I just called myself by a uh, by my own name. I think it's unique enough, but um, it'll be, it'll be, that definitely won't be happening to me. Fabulous. I mean, I spoke to Dave. Uh, at the Saturday show where he was there to, to chill on uh, his charge, Sam Antwi, and he said he doesn't really like to fast track his fighters unnecessarily, obviously you're young, got plenty of time, but this guy, uh, Rios, is something of a step up for, for this level of your, your career, what do you know yeah, about him? I don't know much about him, I haven't, I haven't seen him, I, I don't know much at all, uh, but I never really looked too much into me a bunch, you know, I'll just let my team pick my fights and uh, I know what I'm capable of and I know that I'll come and do a, a good job on Saturday night. We're looking at his record, uh, obviously he's lost a fair few, but only been stopped by guys who've operated around the world level. Um, I think he boxed, I think he boxed Navarrete, a two, three weight world champion, I think he got him out of there, but um, you know, um, for me it's just about doing what I do best, you know. Um, I go in there, I'll outbox him, and if, if the stoppage comes and it comes in there, it will be a statement made. Yeah. I guess you're operating around this sort of phantom to feather range. You're going to have to fight some Mexican silver or later. So he's getting you in there sooner. Definitely. I mean, last time out, up in Leeds, uh, the Leeds derby with uh, Zavid, started to show some punching power. So you're going to be looking to, to develop into an all round boxer puncher. Is that the style you're looking at? You know, I think um, people look at the young kid, they like can't punch, but I've always said, come try walk through me. There's a reason people can't just walk me down, and that's because when I hit him, I do work, and I do get a reaction, and um, I think um, I can do a bit of it all, you know, I can box, I can fight, I can punch, but uh, I don't need to rely on one thing. Whatever it takes to win, I will do. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the Mexico is most likely to try and do exactly that, come straight at you. Yeah. That perfect for you to, to look good. Like, definitely, definitely. Just, Come on to me and, and take a lot of shots doing so. So, I mean, you're operating at super bantam weight. Do you think you're going to operate at that weight class for the foreseeable future, including when you get to title level? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm actually boxing on March 26th back home in Leeds, and uh, there'll be another title on the line then. That'll be at super bantam weight, and uh, I'm contesting at super bantam weight, and uh, I hope to win the domestic titles at super bantam weight as well. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I mean, super bantamweight, domestically and international, red hot division. Spoken to a couple of guys. There's Shabazz Masood, there's Chrissy Porky. Any of these lads at the domestic level? You come across any of them in sparring? Or uh, in the never sparred none of them. I sparred a few, um, a few of them amateur. Um, I know these guys. Um, like you said, they're all good fighters. They're all they're all on the same journey as myself. Um, you look, there's, there's Jason in front of me, Rich Conwell, European champion, he, he's the man with all the, all the domestic titles and um, yeah, it's just, just about all, all progressing but um, sort of who, who gets there first and uh, I believe I'll be, the one, I'll be the one to get there, I'll be the one to clear up all the titles in the near future. Of course, Jack Bateson, another Leeds lad, Leeds boy. Yeah. <laughs> another good, good derby, local derby. Definitely, uh, there's actually a few of us from Leeds all around the same way so it, it's definitely good. Um, like I said, I definitely think that'll be a good fight for the future. Uh, definitely think Eddie will try and build that one that will be in all, all these clash and uh, obviously we'll have some titles on the line and it makes more sense, so that's when, that's when that fight will, will, will be ready Of course, twice Ashraf as well, also leads. Yeah, so leads, boy. Just loads of us. There's four or five of us, we'll all get in there and have a big Royal Rumble. Could have your own top tournament, just That's it, just we'll, have a, we'll have a Royal Rumble. <laughs> I mean, who do you think is the best super bantamweight in the country at the moment? <laughs> no, listen, I believe by boxing brain, yeah, I, I, I believe I'm the best at the bunch. I think I've got one of the best boxing brain in Britain, but uh, you're going to have to say uh, Jason Cunningham, I think he's, he, he, he's showed his comeback and he's, he's put a lot of, he, he's like sort of had a re, re, uh, 
king of life and he's, 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 he's got all the titles at the minute domestically so you've got to see he, he's number one now. Hopefully for Jason, I think that he, he might push on him, he might get a, a crack at a, a, a bigger belt, um, who knows, but um, yeah definitely I think he, he's doing very well at the minute and uh, the king of it all is uh, Akindali, he's, um, he, well, he's got I, all the world titles. I, I, did ask, um, I did ask Dave about this. Actually, Fulton and Akadeli have two belts each. Whether they could ever make that fight, because of course, be yeah, Eddie and Ellaby don't get on. But it's between them two. If they were to fight, who do you think is the best in the world? Oh, it's a good fight. Uh, it's a good fight, but I, I, I'd play back with Ellaby. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, he, even though he's short and he can punch, I think he's got a very good boxing brain. He showed that. Um, He's operating at the top level as an amateur as well, I think he's a, a very good fight. Mm -hmm. Fulton though, he does have that old school Philadelphia old school skill set. Style, so. Listen, it'd be interesting, I'd love to see that fight, you know. Uh, I think uh, hopefully they can put things aside and get it made and uh, it'll be a good fight, good fight to watch and all the belts will be up for grabs. So. And another big domestic fight coming up in a few weeks, uh, of course, Chris Fork against Leach, who's who upset yeah. your Leeds boy, Ashbach. Who do you think wins that? No, I, I had not seen much of both of them, you know, I did see the Leeds fight against Ashback and uh, he, he put on a good display, you know, he, he had a bit of a triple style, um, Fox was supposed to be a bit of a punch, sort of a bit of a punch versus the boxer in it, so it'd be an interesting fight, you know, um, uh, I, don't really know, I don't really know who's going to win that fight, but uh, uh, I was both of best luck. But you'll be watching with interest because later in the year, you could be fighting one of them. Definitely, definitely, when, they, when these... If the titles do do become vacant, oh, we've got a fight. Uh, well, one of us has got a separate for fight. A fight coming tomorrow, or else for the belts. Then, then yeah. But I think um, I'm still only young, you know. I've got the one thing I've got on my side more than is, is is time, and uh, I can use that time. I've got a good team team behind me, and there's no rush for me. I, I can take my time, and uh, whenever they say I'm ready to step up and fight for these titles, then then that's when I'll do it. I'm I'm not in a big mad rush, you know. Um, I'll just, just keep doing my own thing, keep winning, and keep pushing on, keep getting better. Absolutely. Like I said, Dave will move you in the right way, and yeah. when the time's right. When the time's right, I'll be left, please. All right, Ivan, uh, anything you want to add? No, it's all good. Oh, uh, well, good Tune luck for Saturday, night. yeah. Look forward to, to another impressive performance. Uh, Thank you. Expect, thanks for speaking to the boxing voice. Enjoy the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.